Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in this. Somebody sent me this photograph of a door hanger and the file, and that's a good way. I've already converted that to red, but we need to make it 500, or we need to make it a hairline because he's going to cut it out so it's 500 points. And that's that kind of helps us when we're doing stuff like this. Now, this B is different than that B. I like it a little better. Uh, we're going to incorporate some of everything except for this, and this could be fixed too. Uh, if you think you need four points, probably the easiest way. Well, I'll show that maybe later. So what we need to do is move it just a little bit. And you can see that this is in back of that. So we could actually go order front of page and now the black is in front of the red. You would think you could weld something like this, but you really can't. So we're gonna take away the lines that we do not need and I always think about it, how water would flow when you're deleting stuff like that. Same thing on this corner. We don't need that double line. We don't need that line. We want the water to flow between there. We don't need these two lines and we don't need these two lines. We don't need these two lines. Um, we don't need this line. That can stay because it'll cut it out. Um, we don't need that line. We don't need that line. Well, we do need that line. We don't need that line or that line. We don't need that line or that line. So I think we got all that corner. This one's a little bit trickier. Uh, you could, uh, I would always delete your outer lines first and then work your way in. And then you, you're gonna lose a little bit of that shape there. but there's really nothing you can do about it. I would just delete that part totally. Whoop, let's back up here and grab just that little black line. Now we got all the lines worked out. That's gonna fall out, so we need to delete that. I don't really like that, but that's what you're gonna have to do. Let's see what it looks like after we get through and maybe we'll change that. Get your virtual segment delete key. And you just gotta use your imagination and if you mess up, you know, it's no big deal. Um, this should work. So take your smart fill tool and voila, you have a cutout figure. And then you can left click, right click, just make sure it's a hairline so it'll cut and there you go I like it I think it looks good I would I would go ahead and, and because you still got the original I wouldn't mess with the B I would mess with this so we're gonna have to grab this again go to object group and ungroup it so you can use the shape tool and then I would just grab those three nodes and make this one item a little bit longer and then delete those two and then just redo your smart fill. And that's gonna be a little bit stronger and kind of incorporate some more of the drawing. Then take your smart fill and left click, right click, and then make sure it's a hairline for cutting. And I would, I would always kind of keep these you know, off the side and then try to run, you know, run this. This is all one piece, so you could, you know, this is 22 by 22. Maybe that's what size he wants. Uh, it's a pretty cool design. It actually feels in different than you would think because the, the feel is uh, kind of like that. You can see the wings more. I was thinking the wing, those wings would disappear. But anyway, just use the virtual segment delete key and go with that. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.